one thing I say and always keep What's up, people? So, like I said last week, uh, this week was a filler episode. So, there wasn't anything too interesting in this episode. Goku went to go get the Dragon Balls to wish King Kai, Bubbles, and Gregory back. He collects all the Dragon Balls, and everyone essentially just wants a wish. There's obviously not enough wishes to go around, so everyone's just fighting over the wishes. Android 18 wants to know what Krillin wants so she can get him a present. Master Roshi has always just wants young girls around him. I don't actually know what Oolong wanted in this episode. Everyone just kept saying that he wanted panties and like mocking him about when he made his first wish in Dragon Ball. Emperor Pilaf wanted to rule the world like he always does. Trunks and Goten wanted a wish but they actually didn't have a wish, they just wanted to have the wish. Gohan came and wanted to use the wish to save Pan. Pan got really sick and none of the medicines in the hospital were working. So they used the wish to cure Pan only having one wish left. And Bulma wanted a crystal from the core of the earth. So Bulma turns up and pretty much uses her wealth to grant everyone else's wishes so she would have the final wish. Not knowing that Goku hadn't yet made his wish. Now this is the interesting part to me. The crystal that Bulma wanted is for the time machine. Her future self created the time machine so she wanted to create a time machine as well. One thing that's interesting to me in this episode and the previous arc, there will no longer be time travel in Dragon Ball Super. We've now found out that time travel is a really big deal, it's a real big sin. It's a definite no-no now and Bulma trying to get this crystal to make a time machine really annoyed Whis and Lord Beerus. So they caught wind of it, told her not to make it and destroy the time machine that she already had. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that time travel will never be used again, apart from when Whis can turn back time for three seconds to alter something that's happened, or in the event that something like Zamas happens where they kill all the gods, there's no one to rule anything and then they can make it again. If we don't see Future Trunks anymore in any of the Super episodes, I'm happy with it. We've had our fill for Future Trunks. It was awesome. Super's popularity is doing amazingly right now. They are rivaling One Piece at the moment. I think it's safe to say that Dragon Ball Super will be going on longer than it was expected to run. And I'd really like to see it go past the last episode of Z, where we had the World Martial Arts Tournament with Oob in it. I'd really like to see Oob in Super. This is the direction that I'd like to see it take. I'd like to see Oob being trained by Goku, Goku moves away from his whole family to live in Oob's village to train Oob and maybe move to one of the cool things that GT did which was the time skip from when Goku left to when Oob was fully trained and ready. Oob already has the raw strength of Kid Buu then having Goku as his master teaching him all the little tricks because he is human, he can't transform into anything, he is a human I like to see Goku teach him something like Kaioken, instant transmission, because he says at the end of Z he wants Oob to be the savior for this world once he passes on. Going from there, I'd really like to see some big bad threat that's going to happen to the Earth and they're going to have to stop it. So yeah, that's it for today guys. There wasn't much that went on today in the Dragon Ball community and the Dragon Ball episode. So I just thought I'd share some theories on what I think will happen in Dragon Ball Super and what I really would like to happen in Dragon Ball Super. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? What direction do you want Dragon Ball Super to take? Do you like the idea of us seeing Oob? Would you rather it stop before that happens and leave the original ending as it was? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I honestly really appreciate that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already have not It's right here. Just click this button. Uh, click this button for any of my other videos. Just check them out. See how you feel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sansa to me. Catch you guys next time.